Hello and welcome to Air TV Evening News, live from Mazmara at 10.30 p.m. The following are the top stories for this evening. Statement of Eritrean Delegation at Interactive Dialogue on Human Rights Delivered. Discovery of Ceramic Indicating Ancient Historical Stages. Putin warns of nuclear war risk if NATO troops are sent to Ukraine. Terror attacks displace thousands in northern province of Mozambique. The Eritrean representative at the permanent mission of Eritrea to the United Nations Office and other international organizations in Geneva delivered a statement during the Enhanced Interactive Dialogue on the human rights situation in Eritrea held on 28 February. In the statement, the Eritrean representative highlighted that Eritrea has assumed the chairmanship of the Council of Human Rights, despite being a victim of politicized and selective mandates for the past 12 years. These mandates have perpetuated a failed attempt to fabricate a human rights crisis through vilification, exertion of pressure and diversion from nation-building efforts. The statement reiterated Eritrea's unwavering commitment to promoting and protecting human rights in its broadest dimension, which lies at the heart of the nation's, the, its nationhood. Eritrea achieved nationhood after a prolonged armed struggle for human rights of its people. Despite facing harsh external conditions, Eritrea remains dedicated to advance its objective of meaningful improvement in the lives of its people. It has forged a development policy anchored in social justice and self-reliance, highlighting that human rights are central to global issues and cannot be tackled single-handedly by any country. The statement emphasizes the need for genuine dialogue and dignified partnerships. Cooperation should be based on adherence to the international law and UN Charter, taking into account the interests and approaches of all states, including those from the Global South. The statement underscored that practices of country-specified mandates are politicized, confrontational and counterproductive, exploiting human rights for geopolitical purposes. Every state experiences human rights gaps in the pursuit, realization, and sustained enjoyment of human rights should be viewed as a dynamic continuum, not an infinite event. It's crucial to note that the future participation and cooperation of the government of Eritrea in upcoming HRC platforms will be negatively affected should the unfair and unjust mandates and treatment persist. Regarding the imposition of uh, unilateral coercive measures by some countries, which contradicts the promotion of human rights and principles of the United Nations Charter and international relations, the statement called on the Council to remain true to its mandates of promoting and protecting all human rights for all. During the excavation program at the Adulis archaeological site, ceramics indicating historical stages between 1500 and 500 BC have been unearthed. Archaeologists at the site emphasized the significance of this discovery in bridging previous historical periods spanning from the 1st to 7th decades with its new finding. Dr. Tsegai Medin, coordinator of the project, highlighted the various ceramic artifacts unearthed since the inception of the Adelis archaeological project spanning different historical epochs. He, stressed, he stressed the importance of this new discovery in terms of its content and antiquity, foreseeing its potential to significantly enrich the history of the country and the region with thorough research and study. Professor Serena Massa, an Italian archaeologist and project member, underscored Adulis as the sole ancient town in sub-Saharan Africa constructed with stones thus holding substantial international historical significance. She further suggested that the ancient manuscripts and monuments could serve as crucial links between the Adelis civilization and that of Puntland, potentially catalyzing a new phase of excavation. Archaeologists Archaeologist Dr. Abraham Zere added that this discovery will contribute to a deeper understanding of ancient civilization in the Horn of Africa and South, Southern Red Sea region. 
The Adolis project commenced in 2011 through collaboration between Eritrea and Italian experts, facilitating the exchange of experience and expertise. The health station serving the Derbushet administrative area in the Halak subzone has reported commendable health service provision to residents. Assistant Nurse Mahmoud Mohammed, the head of the health station, outlined the range of service offered, including material and child including maternal and child treatment, pre and postnatal follow up vaccination, counseling and control of communicable diseases. Through initiatives promoting sustainable environmental sanitation activities, the station aimed to mitigate the prevalence of such diseases. Highlighting the progress made in 2023, Nurse Mahmoud noted an increase in pre- and postnatal treatment to 73%, delivery service to 63%, regular vaccination of children to 85%, and cervical vaccination reaching 100%. However, he also highlighted the challenge posed by water shortage, which are adversely affecting daily operation and called for finding a solution to this issue. The health station service, the village of service, the village of Dabulo, Selit, Dahalak Kabir and Derbushet, ensuring the delivery of essential health care service to the community. Stay tuned for international news after a short break. Russian President Vladimir Putin told NATO countries today, 29 February, they risked nuclear conflict if they sent troops to Ukraine, adding that Russia must strengthen its western military district after Finland and Sweden's admission to the Atlantic Alliance. Putin issued the warning during his annual address to Russia's parliament and other members of the country's elite. In a message to Western nations who may be considering sending troops into Ukraine, Putin says they need to understand we too have weapons that can strike targets on their territory. Putin also claims that Russians have been Russia have been the Russians have been the victim of so-called Russophobia, he calls it mindless, adding without a sovereign, strong Russia, there can be no stable world order. He said Western rhetoric threatened a conflict with the use of nuclear arms and consequently the destruction of civilization. Several NATO countries, including the US, Germany and UK, have ruled out deploying ground troops to Ukraine after French President Emmanuel Macron said nothing should be excluded. The United States and key European allies this week said they had no plan to send ground troops to Ukraine after, after France hinted at the possibility. Mozambique's government confirmed on Tuesday 27 February that tens of thousands have been driven from their homes by a wave of attack in the restive north. The cabinet spokesperson said 67,321 people had fled the armed attack in recent weeks in Cabo Delgado province. The spokesman also stressed authorities are trying to improve the accommodation condition of the displaced. The government has so far rejected calls for state of emergency. In recent weeks, terror groups Islamic State has claimed several attacks and fatalities, especially in the south of Cabo Delgado province, after several months of calm. According to an update published Tuesday by the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, a total of 71,681 people have been displaced since 22nd December due to attacks or fear of attack by non-state armed groups, 69% of the displaced being women and children. The Cabo Delgado province has been facing attack for six years since July 2021. Troops from Rwanda and South Af Southern African Development Community are deployed in support of the Mozambican army. Before we go, we have a quick recap of the top stars. Statement of Eritrean Delegation at Interactive Dialogue on Human Rights Delivered. Discovery of Ceramics Indicating Ancient Historical Saves. 
Putin warns of nuclear war risk if NATO troops are sent to Ukraine. Terror attacks displace thousands in northern province of Mozambique. That was all with the news for tonight. Thank you for being with us. Have a good night.